Hi folks, Robert O'Brien from O'Brien Guitars. We're just finishing the year, getting ready to go into the new year. And there's a couple of things that are usually on my mind as I transition into the new year because I'm cleaning my shop. One is shop humidity. Uh, it's very important. A lot of my business comes from repairing instruments because people uh, didn't think it was important enough to control the environment uh, where they're playing the instrument or keeping the instrument. In my case, it's where I'm building the instrument. It's very important. However, that's not the main thing I want to discuss today with you. The main thing I want to discuss today is dust collection. It's important enough that several years ago I wrote an article about the dangers of dust for the Guild of American Luxury Magazine. It's important. You need to do something to control that environment, to uh, not shorten your life as a Luther, as a woodworker in general. Two ways to collect the dust. One is at the source. That's the, the best way to do it. However, there's probably going to get some up in the environment and then you need to protect yourself from that as well. So let's talk about those, those two items. Uh, years ago, I went out and bought a big five horsepower Cyclone dust collector from Oneida. And uh, I highly respect this company. Uh, I don't care if you buy from them or not. In fact, I'm gonna put links to these products I'm talking about in the, the description box here on the video. But if, whether or not you buy from these places or not, it doesn't matter. If you do, okay, I get a little kickback and it helps keep the lights on here at O'Brien Guitars. That's not the main reason I'm doing this video. It's important enough and serious enough that you need to think about it. And so get something, whether or not it's these products I recommend or not. So let's talk about the dust collector that I purchased several years ago. I did go out and buy this. I did not get a kickback and I did not get a discount. I paid full price and uh, I did my research and and uh, decided to get from this company. Let me show it to you. So here's my dust collection systems, a big five horsepower electric motor up on top there. It's the Cyclone system made by Oneida. They make uh, smaller systems, obviously, and it comes with filter down there to filter it down to 0.1 micron and the dust collection bin in the bottom there. And I put this way off in the corner so that I don't have to listen to it as much. I come out of my dust collector with an eight inch ductwork and then bump it down to six inch to run around the room and then four inch to go to the actual tool. You want to keep that uh, ductwork as large as you can, uh, as far as you can. There's my remote control switch there. Just the uh, blue turns it on, red turns it off. And I can access it anywhere in the shop. So the best way to control the dust and the chips in your shop is at the source or at the tool. Whatever's generating that dust or generating the chips, that's where you need to control it. Many years ago, what I used to have is just the old single-stage bags, and you, you turn them on, they'd go poof, and all that dust would float up into the air, and the small dust is the dangerous stuff, and that's you know then circulating through your shop. So these days, they're putting filters on them. You want to try and get a filter that goes down to 0.1 micron, and I like the uh, Cyclone or the extractor that separates that dust before it even hits the filter. So that's why I like the Oneida system, because they do that very efficiently and very well. They've really done their homework on that. However... There's always a certain amount that gets up into the shop environment, and you need some type of uh, way to control that. Most people use a mask. Now, I've used them all, and most of them fog up your glasses. So you wind up making a decision. Do I want to see or do I want to breathe as I work? <laughs> well, a couple of years ago, maybe even two or three years ago, I uh, settled on a mask called the uh, RZ mask, made by a company named RZ mask. And I think I found these folks on the Internet, maybe Facebook or something, and I, I tried their mask out of desperation, and I'm very pleased with the quality of this mask. Um, it's washable. You can swap out the inner filters. It's got uh, Velcro on it. Very easily put on, removed. It's got uh, one-way exhalers here so you don't fog up. Uh, heck, you can even make videos with it in place. <laughs> I'm kidding about that, obviously. But that's a mask that I really like and uh, have been using them for two or three years. Once again, no paid endorsement. I paid full price for those. If you don't get this mask, that's fine. Get something. Make this the year that you are going to, to think about dust collection because it, it really is that important. So let me show you a little bit more about this mask here. So the filter medium is the heart of any mask, and the RZ mask has this replaceable filter here that will filter all the way down to 0.1 micron, 99.9% .9 filtration rate, and that's what you want. Uh, you also can get these in two different types. This one just happens to be the active carbon uh, filter, which you know helps with fumes and smoke and smells and things like that. You don't want to use it as a respirator, obviously, but uh, they also make another one that you can use for you know high intensity dust and pollens and things like that. Uh, I run both of them in my mask. It also has this neoprene uh, exterior here that uh, you can, when you change this out, you can wash it. It also has the one-way valve to exhale, so you're not going to fog up. 
uh, reusable outer shell, decreases the cost and the waste, has this little metal clip here around the nose so you can really seal it off well, contours really well to the face, has this Velcro part here on the back, and I've used the heck out of mine over the last two years. Just keep swapping the filters out and the, the filtration is great. All the way down to 0.1 micron, that's what you want. Also has this nice little padded part here for the bridge of the nose. So it's very comfortable to wear for long periods of time. Very little profile, shapes well to the face. Uh, I've been using it for a couple years, paid full price for it, highly recommended. And yet a third way to control dust in your shop is with some type of filter or cleaner that circulates the air in your shop. The problem with that is you need to get a good one. You need to get one that goes all the way down with a filter rate of 0.1 micron. You want to get that fine dust out of the air because that's the dangerous stuff. It gets in your lungs and you can't get out. So if you don't get one with a good filter that goes all the way down to 0.1 micron, don't get one. If not, you're just circulating that fine dust and blowing it around and keeping it stirred up in the air. And the technical term for that is bad. I've got a big Powermatic above my camera here. Uh, several companies make these. Just make sure you get a good one with a good, uh, good filter in it. So those are a couple of topics that are near and dear to my heart. Humidity control, which I'll discuss in another video, and dust collection, which I've discussed pretty thoroughly here. Make this the year that you make this a priority. Uh, I've recommended some products that I use here in my shop and some systems that I use. If you don't get one of those, that's fine. If you do, it helps keep the lights on here at O'Brien Guitars. If you don't, that's fine. Do your homework and get you something that's going to protect you this year. If you're a general woodworker or a professional woodworker or a luthier, whatever, if you're creating dust, you got to control it. It's that important. Happy building, folks.